G'day lords and ladies of the realm, I'm Lady Patricia and welcome to my Halloween special face paint tutorial I guess. I've got a party to go to tonight and I've got to get all scarified so yeah I thought I'd make a video and post it to my channel so you guys can see how I did it. I'm going as a white from Game of Thrones, if you don't watch it, basically just like a zombie but cooler. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's get straight into it. I'm going to speed through a lot of the stuff so you don't have to um, watch me putting it on because it could take quite a while. First things first, we're going to get rid of all of my current makeup and I just use the Nivea, what is it, Daily Essentials Ultra Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. Yay! I'll get into it now. Here we go. Okay, so now I've got all of my makeup off. Uh, sorry, I've got a plague of pimples at the moment, but that's okay. I'm sure you don't mind. Um, next step is to put our contact lenses in. White walkers have these creepily blue eyes, so I just got ones that are a bit brighter than my eyes. I couldn't find any that covered up your pupils, but that's alright. Um, tip, make sure you're not wearing any makeup. I usually put the contacts in first, just because it can get a bit messy if you're not very good at putting them in, which I'm not. Um, and you don't want makeup to go everywhere, you don't want it to go on your eyes. And make sure you have clean hands, otherwise you're going to get crap in your eyes and you're going to get sore and infected eyes and whatever else. Alright, let's put them in. White Walker contacts in. So what you want to do is, because we're going to be putting a lot of um, latex and face paint on, you want to um, put primer and moisturizer on. I am using thing, that one. It's a, the Stralis or whatever it is. It's an Australian cheap brand because I'm a cheapskate when it comes to makeup and I'm pretty sure this is my dad's. The Nivea whatever it's called, 100 cube plus day something. So only moisturizer I have because I don't actually use moisturizer a lot of the time. Oh, I know, scandalous, very bad with me. Shh, get over it. So, just gonna go ahead and put some of this on. It just makes it easier to um, get it off at the end. Right, now that that's all done, you can use your foundation and concealer as normal. and foundation on, you've got to start layering up the face paint. Um, I just use store-bought uh, face paint kids stuff from Big W, nice and cheap. Make sure that you're not spending hey, 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 we'll all be free. Someday, we'll live as one family in a sweet harmony. Now you have a nice, white, creepy, gross base for your face. We're going to start on some of the fake wounds. As a zombie, you need to be gnarled and, you know, kind of flesh hanging off here and there. I use um, the latex, which is just store-bought again, red dot, big W. I don't know what the equivalent to that would be in America and the UK. I would say, like, Tesco's and probably Target for you guys. We've got Target here, but it's not like yours. The miracle of... Plague. Now, you cannot tell me that you did not eat this shit when you were younger. Um, <laughs> just craft paste. I use it to, you know, help smooth out the tissue paper. And because you can eat it, it's not going to do too much harm to your face. 
no more harm than the face paint and the latex will. So this is great stuff, means you're not using too much latex. Again, save money! Woo! For all the cheapos out there. <laughs> Alright, let's get started on making some fake wounds. lay it up onto your face um, what you're going to want to do is let it dry as I just did and then you're going to want to layer on makeup um, you can use your regular foundation concealer also I like to chuck a little bit of red in there just to make it look a little bit more like a face and then cover it of course with the white so it kind of matches the rest of your face as you saw I blended the edges of the paper with the liquid latex that's just to give it more of a seamless look about it as well here we go do the latex because then your paint gets all stuck to it and the whole gloopy like mine is but I don't have the time to do it again so <laughs> I'm just gonna have to do it. work with it it's fine um so to make your wounds you get some fake blood again cheapest one you can find it really doesn't matter and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna um, use a knife be really careful but a knife works good um and make a slit and peel back the desired amount of wound you want and then you put the fake blood in and etc etc so let's get into that let's go Now that we have all of our fake wounds done, uh, 
Um, basically, do some eye makeup if you'd like, so your eyes don't look so small, mascara, maybe a little bit of eyeliner. I'm going to line the bottom of my eyes to make me look a bit more tired and gross, because remember, we are the undead zombies. Um, <laughs> and we don't want to look too pretty, so yeah. white like um gonna do your hair and then get into costume that's about all that's left Woo! it's a long process but it's worth it yay halloween woo, 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 woo. White. Got my egret costume on that I made and then just do the white makeup, put the contacts in. I know they're not the right contacts, but I couldn't find them here in Perth, okay? We're really isolated, alright? Um, yeah, I love doing this sort of thing. So if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you leave a big thumbs up and that will let me know that you liked it and I might do more makeup y type stuff in the future. Yep, yeah, so give a big thumbs up for white egret. What, white? How do you guys pronounce that? White? White? It just sounds like white. White, white. White, white. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and subscribe for my future videos, guys. And I will be seeing y'all in the next video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Once again, you have a good one. And happy Halloween. Bye.